G'day. Welcome to my campfire. My name is Rich Hungerford and I'm the senior instructor at Bush Oil Australia. Bush Oil Australia is a survival and tracking school. Now, this school teaches total survival. So while our fundamental basis for everything we do in the curriculum here at this school is wilderness survival, because that to me is where the most philosophical, spiritual, physical development possible takes place in the wilderness, in the bush. I teach total survival because my job here as the instructor is to make the people who turn up here better than they were when they arrived. I'm not saying that from a position of arrogance or that I know more than everyone else. Completely not the case. I just have a different way of looking at my responsibility as instructor than I've been taught by a lot of my own instructors in the past and in the course of my long period of learning. So my job as the senior instructor here is to make sure that people who turn up here understand how awesome they are, how good they are at survival in all of its many forms. Now that the range of things we teach here is diverse. That's because I'm fortunate enough to have had a very diverse career. As a former Australian Special Forces guy, I was privileged enough to be exposed to a lot of training a lot of new ideas, a lot of cutting edge concepts and theories, and great equipment, and fantastic trainers and instructors. So when you come here, you're buying in or getting access to some of that experience. Plus there's more. Not only did I come from that background as a military person, I've always been heavily immersed in the wilderness. I grew up in Papua New Guinea, I grew up in rural properties in central Queensland, and I've always had a strong connection with nature. I love the bush. Now, it's a bit like being a martial arts student and having a great teacher, but that teacher's never been in a fight. So what he's teaching you is great theory. It's concepts, but it's theory. When you come here, you can be pretty well rest assured that everything this school has as a curriculum item is something I have done or have absolute faith in the fact that it will work and it will be what we call tactically reliable. That means you will be able to replicate it under the position of duress and stress. So survival, I guess to me, is about being intrinsically resist, resilient as a human being. Now, I fundamentally believe, despite all I've seen in my life to this point, and I've seen some nasty stuff, a lot of people have. So what? What, is I, what have I gleaned from that? What I've gleaned from that is this. People are built for survival. At this moment, there's around about 7.5 billion, billion human beings on planet Earth. That alone is testimony to the fact that we are able to modify our environment and prevail in the face of extraordinary odds. Now my job when I'm teaching is to make sure that the people who are listening to the words that come out of my head understand that they too are built for survival. That it's not some kind of SAS unique trait. It's actually a human trait. SAS soldiers just do simple things very well. And that's the premise of all Special Forces training and operations. Simple things, very well. So when you come here and undertake a course with us, you should know that when you leave, you're going to have a far more intuitive understanding of what you're capable of, where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and what to do about them to compensate for any gap. That's what survival training is all about. And that's what this school is fundamentally about. So if I'm teaching you wilderness survival, you're going to get that same gist. If it's urban survival, you're going to understand how to do that in amongst the additional threats of a lot of desperate people, all in a desperate situation. How am I qualified to teach that type of thing? I've been in places where that's been the status quo. On multiple occasions. I've seen people in cities in a state of total collapse. But it hasn't made me pessimistic. It has made me optimistic. It has made me see that human beings 
are incredible. That you are incredible. All you've got to do now is have a few more capability skills built into your psyche, understand your limits and your limitations, and you become unstoppable, and you will survive. And that's the joy and the pleasure and the responsibility I have as a senior instructor here at Bushwell Australia. Whether it's unarmed combat, self-defense, tomahawk fighting, urban survival, hostile environment training, the range of urban-centric operations and, and the sphere of that space, or its primitive skills, tracking, wilderness survival, wilderness navigation, all these things are fantastic at augmenting your sense of capability. This is the best job I've ever had. Way better than being a soldier, even a special forces soldier. Because this job gives me the ability to make a difference. This is my payback to society, to the country I live in, to the people I am part of, and to everyone else who's prepared to listen. Now, if you're teaching survival learning in the world, I hope that this makes sense to you as well. Because we all have a collective responsibility to our students and to our audience to make sure that we are doing the best by them. Make sure we've got best practices being perpetuated. That we're not reinforcing old myths and that we understand that we are now in a time of incredible information access and it's our responsibility to pass on the best information to our people. So join us at some point, if you will, here at the school, here in the bush, we operate in the wilderness, not in some scout park, not in some green park in a city. We live and breathe survival, tracking and combatives. And we do that in the bush. It's drain out back. It's a fantastic place. It's a fantastic job. And I'd love to see as many people as I can in the time until my expiry date is reached to make a difference to their lives. Now I thank you for listening and I most importantly thank all of my teachers, those who put me on this track, those that did that deliberately and those that did that inadvertently. The outcome's been the same.